I don't think too many people need to be told uh, that uh, it's inappropriate to send uh, explicit photos and videos to people you never met. Yet that's precisely what Tony Clement did. You know, I understand and utilize the power of social media every day. Once thought of as a politician with a keen grasp of online communication, he revealed today that for months someone has been trying to expose his indiscretions. In a letter, Clement says, one inappropriate exchange led to a woman being offered money by an anonymous social media account in exchange for the disclosure of intimate and personal information. I immediately reported this personal matter to the OPP last summer. That's in addition to the extortion attempt Clement went public about this week. I was not aware of that until until today. Uh, again, as I mentioned, when Tony and I spoke about what happened uh, more recently, uh, it was presented to me as a uh, as an isolated uh, uh, event. That there were two attempts takes on added significance because Clement was a member of Parliament's National Security and Intelligence Committee, meeting in secret and accessing sensitive information. Do you have second thoughts about the Security Committee? It leads to uncomfortable questions about whether that had anything to do with Clement being targeted and whether officials knew what was going on. There are rules for committee members. They state, a member must without delay provide the clerk of the Privy Council with a report of any change in their personal circumstances that may affect their security clearance. A government source says officials were only notified of Clement's situation last week. And Catherine joins us now. Some people wondering about the timing of these disclosures by Tony Clement. That's right, Ian. The Toronto Star was actually about to report some of the details of these incidents, and it seems that they reached out to Tony Clement for comment first. Instead, he decided to give his own version of events via this letter, uh, explaining his take on things and also expressing a lot of remorse for all of this. And in your item, you touched on uh, the, the security concerns here. Tell us more about that. We don't know who the person or persons behind this were, and certainly Tony Clement has suggested that this was about financial extortion, that somebody was trying to make some money off of him. But there are a lot of details that are not clear around all of this right now, and the fact that he was targeted on two separate occasions suggests that this was not entirely random, and that certainly heightens those security concerns. Thanks, Catherine. You're welcome.